Hey everyone, it's Jen Morgano from Cardamom by Jen Morgano. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator from North America. I live on Long Island in New York. Today we're gonna to be making this cute little card. It's a birthday card. This was part of my gift giving stamp camp. And this is cute. It's a kind of a fun fold, um, flat back, and then it kind of flips open with a little card insert here. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. <laughs> we're gonna be using the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Lots of blends, real wet red, or wild wheat. And one other thing that we're gonna use is this, see this cute little fringe? Well, of course, now watch it, can't get it. Cute little fringe. There is a die in the beautiful balloon die set that um, is new in the annual catalog. Let's see here. Cuts that fringe out and it's so adorable. I believe I saw a card from Patty Bennett that used um, this image with the fringe in the background. And I said, oh, that's adorable because I thought of the holy guacamole, it's your birthday. It's one of my favorite sentiments um, in that stamp set. And there are quite a few. Um, let's see what else they have. They have you spice up my life, right? A little tamale, cute. Uh, your nacho average friend, adorable. Lots of nacho images. We'll be using this one on the card. Spectacular and long time no taco. Love it. Um, not only do you have these cute little cactus, guacamole, and stuff like that, then you have like these little faces that you can put in there. And that we definitely did that with the little guacamole here. Okay, so let's get started. I will give you the measurements. Um, there's quite a few. <laughs> your uh, granny apple green back piece um, of the card is regular five and a half by four and a quarter, but just one piece because we're going to be putting on this real red uh, kind of fold over piece uh, on there. This real red piece measures eight and a half by five and a quarter, and then you score it two inches in and six inches in. The Daffodil Delight pieces that are going to cover uh, this are five inches wide, and the bigger one is two and a quarter, and the smaller one is one and three quarters. Our Granny Apple Green mat here is measured at three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then the basic white piece that you don't see, but this is what we're gonna put the fringe on, uh, measures three inches by two and a half. And the basic white that goes on the inside uh, as the insert is four and a quarter by three and a half. I'll put all these measurements in a link in my blog below. <laughs> so don't worry if you're, so you're going too fast, Jen. You're also gonna need some scraps of basic white uh, for that little pinata. We're gonna stamp and cut out. And then for the fringe, you're gonna need a scrap of granny apple green, real red and daffodil delight. Okay. So let's get started. I want to stamp out my ah, avalanche uh, pinata first and color him in. So you'll need a scrap of basic white for that. This was some leftover I had from making card inserts. So this is one and a half inches and he just fits. So if you have a one and a half inch tall scrap, you're good to go. Then I am going to color him in. I'm going to start with his snout. I'm using the light 900. We're also going to use this to color part of our avocado later. So I just make his snout that color. You can use whatever colors you want. This is just what I did uh, with my attendees. I'm using the light Tahitian Tide for his necklace and fringe. You can use the marker end on this because they're pretty small. Then I used um, Real Red for the first part of his little saddle and the last part. Again, I'm using the marker because this is kind of a small image and then the first stripe of his tail. Then use the Dark Granny Apple. You know, let's use Light Granny Apple. Light Granny Apple for the next layer of his saddle and the next stripe on his tail. 
and we'll use Daffodil Delight for that last part of his saddle and the last stripe of his tail. Then we're going to do what everyone loves to do, fussy cut him out. <laughs> so let me just trim this here so I don't have to worry about the bound. I'll start with his tail. I didn't, didn't, did not cut in between his tail because that's cruel and unusual. <laughs> so it goes pretty quick. There's not too much intricate ins and outs. Just take your time. You can certainly fast forward this if you don't want to watch. Watch this. One day I'll figure out how to edit videos so that I can fast forward through the boring stuff. Okay. I cut a little bit too much off there. I was getting too overzealous. Okay, almost done. Home stretch. I made another card using this. Um, there's in the stamp set, there's a little candy image. And I put this guy in the middle and then a piece of vellum coming out from underneath him <laughs> with all the candy pieces. I thought that was cute. Okay, so I don't cut in between the tails, but I kind of go up to the outer edge here. And then just, doo -doo 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 -doo. there you go. Okay, so let's do a next part of stamping. I used wild wheat and the nacho, the three nacho stamp, to kind of put some nacho images all over here. I figured if we're making a guacamole card, have some nachos right and after uh, the stamp camp one of my friends stayed and then we, we got some Tex-Mex because we were just so inspired by this card <laughs> nothing gives you your energy back after a stamp camp than a chalupa right at least you know <laughs> and you'll just want to randomly stamp them you move your paper around that's usually the easiest You don't have to worry. Oh, goodness, I'm not pressing all the way down. It should probably be. This is a photopolymer stamp, so I should probably be put on my uh, foam pad or something underneath. There you go. You just want to fill that in. You know, it's better than boring old plain background. <laughs> now let me get one more thing. <laughs> okay, so let's start putting the card together. Um, let's do the fringe first. Um, we're going to affix our fringe onto this smaller piece of... Oh, I guess I have something on my hands. Yikes. Lots of things on my hands. i um, going to affix the fringe using the smaller piece of basic white. The fringe is going to overhang, but we're going to trim it off. Where did my fringe go there? You're going to want to start at the bottom and then overlap this way. So what I did was I just put a little bit of glue on the top of my fringe and lined it up at the bottom. Do the same thing with the next piece. And then the last piece. This one you can just kind of put the glue on the Well fine then glue. And you'll flip that over and trim down the sides. Then we will glue that to our granny apple green matte piece.
And then we'll put our little pinata on it. Use some dimensionals. And however you want to put them on there, straight, sideways, whatever, or angle, really. <laughs> uh, we're going to glue our nachos on next. So your small piece of Daffodil Delight is going to go on this bottom little two-inch flap. Let's just turn it over here so you can see. I use glue. You can use whatever adhesive you want. I know there's very strong opinions. Team tape runner versus team glue. Now this is gonna be the bottom flap where we put our insert, which we'll stamp next. Um, what I did was take a piece of tear and tape, go slightly over the edge, not too far. Should be using my silicone mat for this. Peel that off. Come on, puppy. Oh my goodness. There we go. And then we fold that little extra over. That just makes the tear and tape slightly thinner than its original width so that you have definitely more room for, for that pocket to slide in and out. Perfect. We're gonna wanna glue our panel on next. And you just wanna put glue on the top part here. What you can do is just put it on top of there and kind of see, you know, how far it goes. And you should be all set. And then this piece <laughs> gets glued onto our Granny Apple Green card base. Almost done. You know what I forgot to do? Burnish these edges good. But now they're done. Okay, so it's gonna open up like that. How cute is that? Let's stamp our card base. What we're gonna do is put Holy Guacamole, it's your birthday, um, in the center using real red. Then we're going to stamp our other images. So now well, we're going to put our little guacamole bowl down the bottom. And I just couldn't resist at putting a little smiley face on him. You can definitely use the one with the mustache. That's adorable. Boop. I mean, if I was a bowl of guacamole, I would probably be happy too. And then some avocado. Just stamp off like that. Okay, so the guacamole bowl, mocha jete, I'm going to use the smoky slate, light and dark. I'm just gonna put some, I'm gonna have ink everywhere, my goodness. I'm just gonna put some dark down there and then I come in with the lighter one. Just blend him in and then a little bit for the guacamole, I'm going to use the dark and light granny apple green. I'm just going to take the dark and kind of go over the little dots and then come in with the lighter and blend those in a little bit. Okay, for our avocado, um, the outline of it, I'm using the dark old olive. And then I guess we can do a little bit extra there. We'll come in with the light gold olive and blend that in. I use my old olive so much that I actually destroyed one of the nibs. So 
So I ordered a new one. So there. But I've had it a good long time, so I'm okay with replacing it. <laughs> okay, the last thing to color in is our pit. And I'm going to be using the medium deep 300 with uh, the light 900 that we used for our pinata snout. And I just kind of went in on this side, put a little bit of the dark, and then I came in and I smooshed that around. Really kind of tried to blend that darkness in. And that's our holy guacamole. It's your birthday. And that will slip right inside of here. And that's your card. You can even fit a gift card in there with this little insert. What do you think? Do you like it? I do. <laughs> Hopefully it won't inspire me to go out and get any more Tex-Mex or Mexican food tonight. I think I'm, I'm good on the cheese. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I hope you uh, did enjoy this project. If you do, please subscribe using that subscribe button below. That way, every time I publish a new video, you can get a little pop up on your phone. Um, I also have links to my blog, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook social media feeds. If you like to follow along uh, one of uh, those, if that's your preferred choice. I know a lot of people um, prefer Instagram. Feel free <laughs> to do that. Uh, if you subscribe to my blog, uh, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. If you're local, uh, advertise my classes, any specials that are going on. And my blog, when I post um, my projects, I often include links to the supplies I used as well as some detailed instructions. So that's, that's a great treat there. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Again, I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you get to do something crafty yourself today. Bye.